Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 28th episode of the series and today we have Raj here with us who has been recently placed at Hyperverge as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us, but before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to all BTEC branches were eligible provided they had a CGP of 6 or 60% in their 10th 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears now let's go ahead and talk to raj and understand his experience interviewing for hyperwatch my channel and congratulations on your placement so uh, hey just no thank you yeah would you like to introduce yourself first uh yes so uh, hi everyone i'm raj mishra i am currently in fourth year a uh, cse Uh, computer science in VIT Bangalore okay and i uh, recently got placed at hyperwatch as a business analyst okay that's great thank you so much uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of okay so uh, hyperwatch came for multiple roles uh, it, there there was this huh? mle which is a machine learning engineer role a software associate role uh, a technical product analyst role uh one another product role and a business analyst role okay so uh it came for multiple roles and i had applied for the business analyst role okay all right uh so uh, for this particular like for every uh every domain they had a different process so uh, for business analyst there were four rounds okay Uh, the first round was basically filling up a Google form, uh, mm-hmm. in which they had asked us, uh, like they had asked us our resume, and they had also asked us to submit a video resume by uh, introducing yourself, what are your strengths and weaknesses, mm-hmm. and like why do you want to apply for this particular role at Hyperwatch. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, they had asked that and resume. So the first round was a uh, video and resume shortlisting. Mm-hmm. after that uh, the second round uh, was basically a group discussion wherein uh, all the people who had been selected in the second round were divided into groups of 10 okay and uh, we had to go one by one uh, it was uh, so this entire process was physical uh, in in this in cbc so we had to go one by one in a room and they would uh, give us basically a case study wherein a situation a business situation would have been written hmm and they i would have given us mm-hmm. like seven options so we had to arrange all of that based on the situation and uh, how will we prioritize each task and what will be the priorities from okay. one to seven okay so so this was a case study that uh, we got and after that case study uh, it was a shortlist and a waitlist so uh, from every group two people were shortlisted and one person was waitlisted hmm so that, that and there were like 10 groups so that reduced the number of participants to 30 hmm so after the group discussion round there were 30 people left hmm after that uh, the people who were shortlisted were interviewed first so that was the first interview which was basically a puzzles and guest debate round so in in that uh, round we uh, so i was asked two guesstimates and two puzzles uh, the puzzles were the same as those of gfg so uh, like the top 100 puzzles of gfg and guesstimates were again open ended so they asked me uh, like so i'm from kolhapur so they asked me uh, you have to guesstimate the number of trees in kolhapur so i had to like it was mm. based on where you lived uh, and like a very uh, unique situation so you like so you have to be like like really like you have to develop that acumen over time right uh there's so a lot of guesstimates mm. yeah so that uh, so it was guesstimates and puzzle round and after that they would like just tell us immediately whether uh, i'm going to the next round or not mm. so uh, and uh, the next round was then the culture fit round so out of 30 people only 10 people made it uh, to the culture fit round and i was one of them mm. uh and the culture fit round was the only thing that happened online for me virtually uh, so that happened like two days after uh, the puzzle round hmm. and in the culture fit round i was asked a lot of personal questions a lot of questions about my college and my school 
and uh, like uh, what were my uh, st- uh, like strengths and weaknesses questions and why do you want to work at hyperverge questions all of that and so that round was a very intense round and it, and it like it lasted for like 60 minutes uh, like an hour for me and uh, that and the culture fit round was the fourth round and the last round and after that uh, the next day i got my results and i was uh, selected as one of the business analysts oh okay that's great congratulations again uh, um, thank you thank you so much for sharing your experience uh you can now like uh, if you have any suggestions for your juniors or for anybody who's trying to get a good job or anything that you learned from your experience if you'd like to share you can do that uh, yes uh, so uh, two things uh, the first is to be patient because hmm. like this entire experience can be really overwhelming hmm. because like uh, as for myself even i had to wait like two months of uh, for me to get placed like hmm. for some people it was the time is time was lesser and for some people it is going to be like higher right so uh, the one thing i would say is do not get overwhelmed uh, it's 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 majorly about luck hmm. so it, it, it just like it, it it one day is going to be your day and like so just like don't get stressed and like just prepare like keep preparing for stuff so i was very clear in my mind that i wanted to like get a business role Uh, and i wanted to work in a startup as well so i kind mm. of always had that in my mind mm. and i chose the companies i applied to in that way uh, mm. like a good business role is what i wanted and i like i kind of like and i have had patience throughout the entire process as to like something is going to come to me and if and when it does i'm going to get it right so i think uh, that uh, it can be really overwhelming so you just need to like be confident in yourself and like believe that things will like change hmm. and just be better and and you're going to emerge like your best on the other side of things hmm. and number 2 is uh, you like you should know what to prepare for uh, like because uh, the, uh, like a lot of times a lot of companies ask a similar set of questions in their interviews so you need to like have certain uh, technical like questions and certain technical knowledge like mm. interview knowledge with you so you need to like prepare for interviews and you also need to like uh, try to handle both technical and non technical stuff you need to be able to communicate properly whatever you're doing mm. and uh, so for me i was always aiming for like you know business role so i i i knew like i had done all the puzzles i i have solved a lot of guest mates and case studies hmm. uh, so just just figure out what you want and like and just like try to analyze what you need for that role right. and what are the preliminary knowledge that you need for that role and just like keep preparing for it because you never know when like that day comes and you have to be your best on that day Correct. irrespective of whether you know things or not so like just better know things right 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 Okay that's great thank you so much for sharing your experience and for your suggestions uh, thank you so much yeah yeah thank you thank you all for watching please do like share and subscribe and let me know which company you would like next